go. Alright, come on, don't do that, please. Hey, everybody, Jimmy here. I want to talk to you about something that can save you money on your health insurance bills. It's not insurance. It's impact health sharing. Let me tell you something. This is a solution for the health care crisis that I've been waiting for. It's not insurance. It's not socialized medicine, thank goodness. It's the best thing that's come down the pike. For more information about impact health sharing, contact an ACN distributor near you. God bless you. Leadership flashing with excellence. They shine come everywhere we go. Music for the people, making music for the people. They shine come everywhere we go. They shine come everywhere we go. Leadership. Uh, vivacious, full of success and beauty. Here is our latest details, independent of politics, the James A. Hendricks School of Leadership. Hello, everyone. Uh, Jimmy Hendricks here. How did I put my phone on Do Not Disturb? Because... Now that I have signal, I got texts coming out of, you know, my ears. I'm going to talk to you about something that is um, ignored, but it's something we need to address. I'm talking about the college enig- enigma. You know, when I went, when I was young, and in elementary school. I saw those movies in the 80s, you know, about kids that are going to college, you know, and they're having a good time, and, you know, they got plenty of good friends, and in the end, they get the job, the American dream, and blah, 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 blah. Well, I'm here to tell you it doesn't always work out that way. And you're like, huh? Wait a minute, Jimmy, you were college educated. That don't make any sense. Yeah, but have you ever noticed how the enigma is? Some people, the more education, the better they get, sonny boy. I mean, I talked to my dad, and I think it was Christmas. I think it was a few days before Christmas he called me. And he said, son, I think it'd be advisable for you to go and go back to University of Texas Permian Basin and get your education. I said, I don't know, Dad. Stay will pay for my tuition, but not my, not my books. Well, we'll find a way to pay for your books because you're going to need this education. And, and this time, go back and, and, and finish so you get your Ph.D. I mean, I'm sorry, but what horse manure? Okay. We have been sold a lie, I'm afraid, for decades. That if you get an advanced degree, it automatically means that somehow you get something that's going get, to get you riches. Now, I will tell you something that my granddad taught me. And now look, he wasn't wrong. He told me, he said, boy, I want you to go to school. I want you to go to college, get you a good education. I want you to consider becoming a lawyer. If you don't want to become a lawyer, become a businessman. Become your own man. See, I- I'm not opposed to college, okay? College can open a whole different world for you. My glory days were in college. But the fact of the matter is, what is it really? You're subsidizing some uh, professors to keep their tenures and their plush offices, some of them having assistances and stuff, and some of them professors don't even deserve to be there. And you're saying, well, give me that harsh, dude. That's harsh by saying some professors don't want to be there. Oh, really? When I was... 
attending graduate school, I had the oh so brilliant idea of taking this marketing concepts and strategies class with this one professor. I didn't realize it. His tactics in teaching business were cutthroat. Okay, that goes against everything that I believe. And I go into his office to ask for an extension for a midterm exam because I was, a, I was fresh out of the hospital. And he went after me with both barrels. He's like, you are a liar. You are a liar. You made no attempt to even take the exam. I said, because I was in the hospital. Get out of my office. So I got out of the office. And I call my mother in tears and she says, you're dropping this course. So I went down to the registrar's office that afternoon and I dropped his course. Two weeks later, I'm walking the streets of Lubbock and this guy agrees to give me a ride back to campus. And he says, you were, you were in Professor So-and-so's class. I said, yeah. What happened? I said, I got mad at him and dropped out. He said, thank God you did that. I said, why? Every le lecture, it's the same dang thing. Do men wash their hands in the men's room? And Paul Harvey, and how terrible his wife's cooking is. We can't stand him. You did the wise decision by dropping his class. But see, the college enigma sometimes keeps the idiots in there longer. And the thing is, I think conservatives and liberals are guilty of being being in this in this enigma. Oh, an advanced degree will get you riches. An advanced degree of education will get you everywhere you need to go in life. Really? What do you learn in graduate school? Except maybe law school. Sit there and crunch numbers and debate useless theories that don't matter whether Oh trying to trying to save from, from losing my core here. But I just feel like this don't matter what's the damn the hill of beans. Okay? You, you said, well, Jimmy, how do you know? How do I know? I tried graduate school for five years. You can't get ahead with a master's degree if you have poor knowledge of, of, of numbers and arithmetic. Some of that stuff even calculus. And when I was suspended, I thought it was the end of the world. When I was suspended from graduate school. But you know what? It's a blessing. Because you hear me now. Now I'm not... If you're in college, stay in college. If you think that it's going to bless your life, stay in college. But listen to me. Follow your passion. Because the ecology enigma is going to kick your butt if you don't. Follow your passion. So many people, oh, these advanced degrees, they'll, they'll get you everything you need. Uh, unless it's part of your passion. I'm sorry, y'all, that's BS. I, I'm not going to buy that in a million years. Forget that. Uh-uh. As in, bye-bye. Now, I hope you enjoy listening to the James A. Hendricks School Leadership. If you like what you hear, please subscribe become a part of the James A. Hendricks School of Leadership Classroom. This is Jimmy Hendricks saying to until next time, take care and be proactively informed. I want you to know tomorrow, if all goes well, I'm going to have a 2022 uh, year in review, personal and political. So get ready. Take care.
And God bless every single one of you. God bless you guys.